India wants work. It wants a lifestyle. And it wants to see itself as one of the most stable market economies in the world. Your excelling in India is all set for New India. We have seen uh, young people joining uh, your excelling industry as an entrepreneur. And uh, if you see the age bracket of uh, 25, they are taking it uh, your excelling industry as a very serious industry. Today, India aspires to create the Naya Bharat, where dreams and aspirations are destined to become reality. And the dawn to a new India or the Naya Bharat emerges with the evolution of Direct Selling 2.0. Direct Selling, since its inception, has been one of the driving factors behind India's post-liberalized economy. The ease of doing business in New India, coupled with government schemes such as Make in India, Skill India, Startup India and others have uplifted the entrepreneurial spirit in the country. With direct selling and its progressive stature, the industry has also been especially aided by monetary institutions via financial inclusion. The direct selling industry is a thought leader and is among few industries who have been a pioneer in empowering women in the country. So there are about 53% uh, of the direct sellers, they are uh, female workforce in direct selling industry. So it started as a supplement income. So the, you know, the ladies at home, those who don't have too much of option of working in office, they are taking it as an opportunity to really make some uh, supplemental income for themselves. Direct selling has not only proved to be one of the leading employment and work generating sector, but also is miles ahead of other predominant sectors in the market in terms of job and wealth creation. The government is planning to push around 500 million of skilled workers by 2022. I think this particular sector has a potential to uh, provide a kind of you know, mass empowerment and livelihood for people. The combination of direct selling and entrepreneurship have not only helped MSMEs and SMEs, but it also helped in giving growth objective to Indian economy. So the new India is all about making India, fair enough. So what is the direct uh, selling company coming to us for? They could have gone to the big guys. They want new entrepreneurs who are coming up, who want to put up their setups. And so direct selling companies want people like us or maybe others to put up a goods manufacturing facility in India as per international standards. The Department of Consumer Affairs, Government of India, had notified the direct selling guidelines in 2016. Connecting with state governments for the last, I would say, 10, 12 years, if not more, and holding um, workshops, round table conferences, one on one meetings, to speak to the regulators, speak to various state governments and the centre as well, to explain the difference between what are the characteristics of a good direct selling entity. The Indian Direct Selling Association, the only organization meant for benefiting direct selling industry, has taken great initiative in promoting the government initiative at a grassroots level. See, we have seen the um, growth in direct selling industry in the last five years by 16%, and we, we also see that uh, they are having expected growth by uh, 300% in 2025. So we, we have also grown along with the direct selling industries growing in the market and we expect that we will further grow. The Indian direct selling industry has witnessed exponential growth in the last few years as a result of several reforms by the government. IDSA will extend its reach and educate consumers, common public about important issues like distinguishing between a genuine direct selling company and fly-by-night operators consumer protection law and the consumer rights under the Consumer Protection Act 2019. The strong policy making capabilities and under the strong leadership and guidance of our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi, the direct selling industry is on its way 
to contribute towards a progressive economy and to deliver what the world is going to see as the Naya Bharat.